you will never know why they done that to you. Abandon their little own son left you alone in the chilling Skyrim mountains. You almost died from freezing, but on the last drip of warmth in your body, you noticed proud building over the next hill. That building was a high road car. Greybeards don't like visitors, but they had no choice. No matter how much apathetic they are, they wasn't able to let the innocent child die. And so, your childhood and youth as a secret apprentice of the Greybeards began. You was practicing meditation, control of your body and mind, and at the age of six, it appeared you even had the talent to master your voice. And while your sudden grandpas were very reluctant about this, after all, you started to practice your tomb as well. Years were passing by, you grew up, and while you were thankful to your saviors for everything, you still was an orc with a life to live. And so, you left the High Hrodgar to find your place in this world, sharpen your blade and polish your armor like a true son of Arsenium. But that happened you didn't find too far, because just a few months later, you returned to High Hrodgar back as a dragonborn. You practiced your skills even more and opened a secret tomb knowledge, mastering your voice to a limitless level. But even after you fulfilled your destiny as a slayer of the World Eater, the Dragon Menace still was shadowing over Skyrim, and so your journey continued. Hey guys, Sintar here, and today I am back with another one, I would say classic, from a roleplay aspect character build, called Thunder Roar. This build is basically a two-handed berserk, but with complex mastery of shouts, which is making this build not even more stronger, but also very fun to play and variety of, even while it is just a pure warrior. Mix ferocious physical damage with insanely empowered elemental damage from your shouts and much more. But the scene is compared to a newer shout system, where your character had to wait dozens of seconds before shouting again, which was making shouts mostly like only a supporting skill. Your tomb mastery is drastically improved by different sources, allowing you to rely on shouts the same as you can rely on your greatsword. Let's take a look. Race. Never saw a greybeard orc? Now you will. Thunder Roar is a warrior in general, and orc is one of the best candidates for a warrior class. But not only because of this, orc racial abilities will play a good synergy with the shout build. Strength of Steel is a great passive boost ability, which will also give you a decent power up in early game when you still will not have powerful enchantments, shouts, and so on. Bloodlust is a great tenacious passive, which will play a good synergy as well with shouts, as they will also give you speed boost. And of course Berserk is an ultimate ability to increase your damage dealt and decrease damage taken, a great help against powerful enemies and bosses. A bit later you will also notice that we will be able to recharge it in combat even while it is a greater power. But maybe the most epic looking and badass ability of orcs is Shockwave. Once per battle, when you're jumping, you stagger and potentially knock down all the enemies around you. It is also a great, let's say, time delayer when you need that few seconds for shout cooldown to recharge. Standing Stone, the Lady. As a cooldown dependent build, Thunder Roar needs to use as much utility and support as possible from secondary sources and Lady Powers is a perfect choice. Lunar Familiar will automatically summon a spirit animal to aid you in battle. One of two-handed perks will also allow you to spawn Spirit Wolf, so you can have up to two spirit companions that will distract the enemies and deal really good damage as well. Premonition is a great saving ability as, being a berserk in light armor, you still will be vulnerable sometimes and this ability will passively help you. And the Eclipse ability is a great damage booster against bosses and various other tough encounters which is greatly empowering your spirit companion. Attributes. Here everything is pretty simple. Spend them in 2 to 1 ratio for health and stamina respectively. You don't need much magic as well, as even healing will be mostly done by your shots and enchantments. Now the perks. Thunder Roar has three main skills which are light armor, two-handed and speech, and three secondary skills which are smiting, enchanting and destruction respectively. 
Light armor, simple as piece of cake. Take absolutely all possible perks here, besides the unarmed branch, obviously, and don't take annoying mosquitoes as well. This perk is working only when you're fighting with enemies that have full health, and as all damaging shouts have wide area of effect, almost all your enemies in combat in massive battles will be always damaged, so this perk will be just useless. Light armor, exactly, is the choice for this build because it, first of all, greatly increases damage output, which is already very high in our case. Secondly, it gives great regenerating and speed capabilities, which both are adding to buff you will in future have from shouting. Also, don't forget to take War Dancer and Spell Dancer perks, which will increase both your physical and elemental damage and so shouts for a decent amount. Two-handed, even more simpler, take everything possible. The most important perks are the next. Wolfkin, it will summon a spirit wolf after a couple of power attacks to aid you in battle and distract enemies. This distraction sometimes can win you a couple of seconds, which you will need to wait until some kind of shout cooldown will refresh. But the most important perks are starting from Massacre 1, which gives you a chance on each strike to have almost triple attack speed for the next few seconds and the Voice of Rage and Ruin is the one of key perks in the whole build, as it gives a 4% chance per strike and you will often have insane attack speed to automatically activate your attention currently equipped power, even if this power isn't cooled down at the moment. Yes, it works even with greater power as well. You will see the result of this synergy pretty soon. Weapon specialization is, as always, absolutely up to you. Speech. This one is a key skill, which is exactly making Thunder Roar so strong and fun to play at the same time. Take all the perks from the right branch. Basic perk is pretty much self-explanatory. And the Universe Listens perk is your healing ability, which will restore all three your attributes each time you will shout. Windborn is a great power-up buff that will give you 30% attack damage and 15% movement speed each time you shout as well. And Thunder Roar can sometimes shout up to 4-6 times almost in a row, meaning Windborn can give bonuses like additional 150% bonus damage and 70-80 movement speed bonus. Force Redouble, one of the many sources of drastically decreasing shout cooldowns. Simply gives you 50% chance to decrease shout cooldown to 3 seconds when you shout in it. Hurricane Force is a damage booster, basing on your speech skill, which means at 100 speech skill your shouts will deal double damage. Tomb of War, badass crowd control perk, that will passively empower all your shouts to decrease enemies' armor, stagger them, and even knock down them if the enemies are heavily injured. Launch the fire breath shout and stagger enemies at the same time. Merciless Storm, a greater power, meaning you can use it only once per day initially, that instantly refreshes all your shouts' cooldowns. Not such a big profit knowing it can be used only once, yeah? But wait a second! You already get him it, right? Your perk from two-handed gives you a chance to activate any of your powers when striking. That means you will never actually need to activate it directly, but that's not the end. Dova Zulan For the 120 seconds, meaning 2 minutes, after using Merciless Storm, any shout you use also carries previous shout. You already starting to feel that, yeah? But let me show you on a direct example. Dova Zulan. Here we used a Fire Breath Shout, but a few seconds earlier we used Elemental Fury Shout that increases attack speed, which of course has already faded off, but wait a second. Now a demonstration of all key abilities together, Dova Zulan, Merciless Storm and Voice of Rage and Ruin, plus weapon enchantments increasing this chance by doing simply the same. Oh, and yes, I set this uh, bandit chief health to 100,000 just for being able to show you an example for decent time, so don't mind his HP bar is going down too slow. When that small energy explosion-like effect goes from your face, that means Merciless Storm was passively triggered by the voice of Rage and Ruin on the last swing, and now the party begins. Basically, yes, it is simple as that. All you need is to smash your enemy's skulls with a sword, equipping Merciless Storm power each time after you shout, and always alternate the shouts so they always will have double effect.
secondary skills, smithing. Take the basic perk, Arkham Blacksmith 1 and the whole right branch, which is built around various perks that will allow you to improve armors and weapons far beyond legendary. Receive additional bonuses besides that, ability to use Dragon Souls to improve items even more already after post legendary improvements and even 30 minute self buff after using a forge. All these bonuses will be very useful for survivability purposes, as we are using light armor to compensate lower armor points compared to heavy armor. Enchanting. Take only the branch that is focused on enchantments themselves. This is also important to maximize the effect of key enchantments and compensate orcish racial weaker enchanting power. Destruction. Here we actually need only two perks, because only they improve elemental effects and so shouts in addition to destruction spells themselves, which we will be not using. Elemental specialization is optional. It improves one type of elemental damage but decreases another one's. This actually has sense because your shouts will be very powerful with this build and often you will be able to one-shot weak and medium strength enemies with only one shout. Combustion is a great damage booster as well, which will increase your shouts damage the more the less health targets will have. Now a couple of words about optional but very useful and immersive mod called Dragonborn Ascendant. You can install it or not, but I personally strongly recommend it. It does two things in general. First of all, it improves and rebalances in some reasonable limits all vanilla shouts, making them more useful in general without adding something new and non-immersive. Secondary, it introduces so-called Dragon Soul Boost, passive ability that is giving you 3% shout cooldown bonus for each 5 dragons you defeated, capped at 30%. This ability is not overpowered, but still very pleasing bonus and it will give you additional motivation and roleplay aspect to drag and hunt down the dragons. Now enchantments that I recommend to use for the best result possible. First of all, as almost always, I advise you to use the master enchanting perk on your weapon to place 3 empowered enchantments on it. Place enchantment that gives a chance to activate your equipped power, enchantment that gives a chance to reset your shout's cooldown if target dies soon after your hit, and the life drain enchantment for additional healing. Now the armors and jewels. Boots chance per second to restore attributes and two-handed damage bonus. Armor, bonus health and chance per second to restore attributes. Gloves, stamina absorption and two-handed damage bonus. Helmet, chance to reduce cooldown of your shouts to 3 seconds after shouting and decrease damage taken at low health. Necklace, magic resistance and increase armor rating. Ring, magic resistance and a bonus health. And now, of course, the gameplay demonstration, elite bandits, drug or death lords, dragons and, of course, the red eagle.
That's all for today folks, and I hope you enjoyed. Share your thoughts about this build and of course, write in comments which build you want me to release the next. Don't forget to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. And if you ever wanted to support me directly to help me keep making informative content for you, take a look at my Patreon page. See you in the next video. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.